Alright guys, ADHD here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and if you guys aren't going to drill camera, flip, stay freaking what? The day is going to be a very, very fun day because you guys have been asking this for so long. You guys, I'm busy. So you guys have been asking for a Nickelodeon collection for so long. So this is probably the closest thing I can get to having everything in one place. We are building this shelf because it's going to be the background for a brand new channel where we're going to be unboxing toys, doing all types of crazy challenges with toys. It's a toy based channel. The link is down below. It's the top link. Go subscribe if that's what you're into. That's kind of what it's going to have. It's not going to have the most dangerous series and that kind of stuff, but it's a whole new channel, with brand new type of content. Where we're going to be doing challenges, opening up toys, just doing whatever the heck you want to do with them, doing outrageous stuff. Stuff with Beyblades, Nerf, all types of stuff. So go check that out right now, guys, and subscribe to it. But we're gonna be going through this stuff right now because this is gonna be the background for it. It's gonna be the background of every single intro. And it's gonna look sick because it is sick. And I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. This is the biggest collection of Nickelodeon stuff on all of YouTube. Your boy, King Raptor! Definitely took the cake, and I definitely said it's the most valuable collection on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through every single item here. I'm gonna tell you guys where I got it, how I found it, where I bought it. It. This is a collection video. This is what, you know, people that are collectors will definitely really vibe with this video. And if you're not, I'm sure you'll love just to see the figures and stuff. But how we're going to do it is this. We're going to make a guess right now. What is the total value of this entire shelf and see who gets the closest. So I'm going to make my guess. Parker's going to make his guess. And then you guys in the comments are to leave your guess down below. What is the total for the entire Nickelodeon collection's value? And see who gets to the closest. I'm going to be pinning comments and harding comments, all types of stuff to see who has the closest answers. Anyway, let's get started. And a lot of you guys have actually asked for a room tour too that's why I'm doing it over here but this is like not really a full room tour I know a lot of guys are asking about this room and stuff so this whole bottom row right here this is the stuff that we need pretty much every single day yeah. when we film the ADHD's world video we need glue guns glue guns tape um lots of props are in there and there's other stuff obviously it's not just here but this is like the stuff we use safety a lot of safety yeah a lot of safe stuff right here safety this is pretty much just where all of this stuff goes that we need for like day-to-day -day use like you know there's other stuff in the garage and stuff but this is like safety stuff Stuff. We got gloves in here, we got masks, well, all this stuff we should probably use a lot more often. <laughs> but it's, it's you know, it, it sits here with this thing still. This is full of tape and stuff, but you're not here for this stuff, you're for here for, for this. This is a play button. <laughs> no, these are also play buttons. There's three of them there, and notice none of them are gold. Let's make that happen. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's three silver play buttons there. One day there'll be a gold one in the same stack, hopefully on the wall somewhere. But let's go to the first Nickelodeon shelf. All right, so we're going to the first Nickelodeon shelf. So like I said, so we're gonna count the to our total right now, our guess. I'm gonna say this whole shelf is worth at least four thousand five hundred dollars. Mm, okay, uh, that's actually a lot lower than I was thinking. I was thinking like fifty five. Ooh, that'd be interesting. And you guys at home, if you're not a collector, you're probably thinking, "Are you kidding me?" For some plastic toys, that's five thousand. Yes, yes, I am, yeah. I'm not kidding you. No, that's why I'm crying like you're dead. <laughs> that's why I'm wearing the same pants every video. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all my money on toys. <laughs> no, so this stuff is really worth that much, guys. They're called collectibles. We're going to go through it right now. So, again, put your guys' guesses down below as to what the total is going to be, and we'll see who got it closest. Okay, so we're going to go through every single item here and maybe put some, some items in a group together. So first off, right here, we got the invisible boat mobile with SpongeBob and Patrick, and it never really works yet. <laughs> it's supposed to play some songs, but it never works. It's supposed to light up and play songs. I just think it needs new batteries. But this is not, if you see it says Bright Kingdom, this is not an official SpongeBob product. This is the only thing on here that's not SpongeBob official until I started with it. This is just super cool though. And I was like, you cannot just walk past that and not buy it. Oh, well, I mean, some, a lot of people did, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of people did. That's why I have four of them. All right, so, <laughs> so we have that right there. And that is like so the only non like licensed item. Then over here we have like, this is from, the Rugrats movie in 2002. I got that at a garage sale. Same thing for this is from the SpongeBob movie. So that's right there. And then this as well is also from a Burger King. So these are all like Happy Meal toys. Then back here we have what are called Kid Robot toys. And these things are pretty crazy. So I'm gonna go and do the value right now. We'll just keep it all adding up right now with the cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. So right here, this thing is about like 15 bucks. It's not too expensive. These right here are about $2, $2, $2. So we're at like six bucks for those. And then 
this. Like I said, guys, as we go up, things are going to get a lot more expensive. This is probably the cheaper shelf, and we'll work our way up. And then down here, we have Hey Arnold, we have Norbert, we got Daggett, we got Stimpy, we got uh, Tommy, Eliza, Nigel. Uh, did, Nigel, and we got Cat Dog right there, guys. So we have all those characters. These two are the rarest. They're hard to find. They are about worth $25 each. Bring us at 50 right there. And then the rest of them are about like 5 to $10. We'll just put them on average, like six bucks. So they're not really too, too valuable, except for these two characters in particular. You want to fight? Hi, matey. <laughs> this right here, guys, is the beginning of the Funko section because I have every single, I mean every single, every single Nickelodeon Funko product on this mm. shelf. What? Avatar. Except for Avatar. Avatar just came out. Just that, came out. The Avatar Last Airbender is the next one I had to add to this, and that You're just came show, out. A whole shelf out there, right? Because it's the best show ever. Uh, it'll probably go somewhere behind here. No. <laughs> that, that's wrong. That's incorrect. I like Avatar, but I don't believe he's a Nicktoon like everybody else, but I'm still going to get him. So, Avatar will have to find a place on here eventually. That just came out, like, literally, like, the last couple days. So, I will get those two. But, right here we have Reptar, your boy, right here. Little Reptar. It ain't King Reptar. That's Prince Reptar right there. He's a dorb. We got Ren, we got Stimpy, and then we have these right here, which is Ren and Stimpy and Happy Happy Joy Joy. This is a collaboration, um, summer convention. So this one's pretty expensive because it's a con convention exclusive, but it's not that pricey because it just came out. It's about 20 bucks. These are about 15 each, and then this one's about 15 too. So you add that up right there. Then right here, we have one in 4,000 characters. We have, these are Funko Dorbs. We have Angelica, we have Tommy, and we even have Chucky over there. And those go for a total of uh, $44 for all of them is what I paid for them. And they're new, so that's the same value they are right now. All right, and then right here, you guys remember Toys R Us stuff, but... That was a moment of silence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 was at the door, so I thought I was having a that was mild, mild seizure. That is from, this is from Toys R Us, guys. And your boy came up on these because each of these goes for about $40 online. So we really got a $120 value right here from these three. But give them a close up on these. These are so detailed, even though they're so small. And for them just to be a Rugrats feature, they're like, or for like Toys R Us toy, they are super, super detailed. And those things only for me were actually only $5 because I bought them when Toys R Us is going out of business, so they were literally slashing them prices every left and right, just like this. But we're slashing prices. But I paid five dollars for them each. Like I said, they're one hundred and twenty dollars each. I got all of them for fifteen bucks. Now they're worth one hundred and twenty. That's why I collect. It's like investing, but funner. <laughs> All right, guys, so like I said, as we go up, you're going to start seeing more and more stuff. Over here, we mostly have Funko Pops. So we have all these Funko Pops. I'm actually going to start with this because I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you guys. They're really sick, but I don't want to show you them. We're going to have to see them. So here we go, right here. These right here are badass. Oh, yeah. Dude. These are Rocco's Modern Life shoes. They are not, like, super, super easy to find now. They sold out. And the rep, I'll show you some other ones. There's some other ones that they made that are, they're still producing, but these ones they stopped making because they didn't really sell as well as the other ones, which I don't know why. They're sick. And now people are looking for them and they can't find them so they've gone up in value. They're about worth 60 to $70. And those are just some dope shoes that I'll probably never wear because they're too fresh to wear. Yeah, yeah, too fresh, yeah. <laughs> Over here we have some Reptar bars. These are about $2 each, of course. And then we have this clock right here that comes only in a box. So the clock itself is about $30. And then this little thing right here, which I'm going to say has no value. It's just cool. It's the Reptar wagon from the Rugrats movie, but it's missing everything that comes with it. I just use it to hold the Reptar bars, which I think looks sick. So no value you on that. Then over here, we have the beginning of the Nickelodeon Funko Pop. So like I said, I have every Nickelodeon Funko Pop, except for the Avatar ones, which I will get probably in the next week. Right here, we have Rocco, which is our dorb. We have Eliza. She is a mystery mini, about 15 bucks. Rocco is about 15 as well. And then we have this Reptar chocolate bar. Reptar bar. It's an actual plush, which is super, super cool. And that's about 15 too. And then we even have Wilbert, which is Arnold's pig. And that's a plush as well. It's about 20 bucks. And then over here, this is this makes me very sad because this is the only thing on this shelf that is not technically Nickelodeon, but you guys know Doug. Play clip. <laughs> Doug is not technically Nickelodeon because Nickelodeon sold the rights to Doug. This brand right here. You may have heard of him. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. They bought Doug, but I still will always view Doug as a Nickelodeon cartoon. So I have every single Doug pop on here. I even have the exclusive Skeeter Valentine and I have the Flock Chase Pork Chop. This one right here is 20 bucks. 
10 bucks, 10 bucks, 15, 35, and then 20. And I paid $10 for all of those. So that's pretty sweet. I even, got, or actually I paid 20 for this one. I paid 20 for the chase. But everything else was $10. Then up here, we got SpongeBob and Patrick, but not just any SpongeBob and Patrick, he owned a prison. <laughs> <laughs> this is Christmas SpongeBob. And then over here, we have Christmas Patrick, which just came out as well. And then also just coming out, we have Nigel, Eliza, and Donnie, which are all $10 because so they just came out. But man, they look sick, especially Eliza. Look at the detail on that. That is fresh to death. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Even mean, the glasses have glass in them. And the paint job on it is really good. Yeah, so that's that's probably one of the favorite ones they've made recently, along with the Angelica one, which I'll show you guys later. All right, and then the next shelf we have right here, we have more pops and a mixture of different things. But right here, we got my boy, Philbert, <laughs> doing his stand-up comedy routine. That is a nice vinyl of him. That came in a Nick box as well. It's about $40. Then we have the Mystery Mini, and this is a kid robot, even though it kind of looks like a Mystery Mini. These are Mystery Minis. That one's exclusive at GameStop, so it's like 30 bucks. This one's about $7. And then this one, I'm not sure to be honest. That's, I think I'd probably say like 10 bucks. And then back here, we have one of the most worthless chases of all time. This is Rocco and Spunky Chase. It is worth like $14, very low for a chase. And then we have Heifer, which is worth like 30. We have Spunky and Rocco, which is worth 10. And then we have Heifer, it's worth 10. And that is the full Rocco set right there. And we even have a little Spunky plush. It's actually worth more than all the pops, about like $30. But then we got the the, the, the mutants. We got, <laughs> got cat dog, and we have regular cat dog and flock cat dog and mystery mini flock cat dog. And this one's about twenty five. This one's about fifteen, and that one's about twenty, right? Or actually, that's about twelve, right there. That went down twelve, right there. And your boy, your boy, be keeping up on these prices. You guys may not know that, but I be keeping the, the prices on this stuff too, because I like to collect them. I like to buy them, so you kind of have to know the prices, obviously, to buy it. Then we also have this vinyl of cat dog, which is pretty rare to see, and that's about twenty five dollars. And we have a bobblehead as well of Helga. It's about twenty. As well, and then you're talking about Helga. We have the whole Hey Arnold crew right here. We have Helga Pataki, we got Gerald, we got Arnold, and we even got Arnold in banana suit. And I do have Gerald in strawberry suit, it just needs to be put here. And those all go for about ten dollars each. That's Rocco, and that is a very creepy Rocco with some messed out eyes. I don't really like that Rocco that much. I think he looks kind of creepy. Yeah, he is kind of creepy. <laughs> and that's about like 15 bucks. The most expensive thing here is probably these are about ten dollars, ten dollars, and then this right here he goes for about 25. So I'm breaking foot upward? No, he's just a he just walks with this much vigor. <laughs> he's just always that's how he walks. It's just so weird. Like it's just like it's broken up. <laughs> I don't know why they designed it. But that also was exclusive to Toys R Us and they don't they don't make them anymore. So those things are gonna go up, I think. They'll make those or Toys R Us anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're starting to get into the heavy hitter stuff. This is probably like when I start getting into my favorite shows. All of them are favorite, but this is probably like the start of my favorite. Because one of my favorite shows from vintage Nickelodeon, like retro, is Ren and Stimpy. And we have a lot of Ren and Stimpy stuff. So down here, we have an exclusive, let's start right here, an exclusive Kid Robot uh, Powder Toast Man figure. Super, super rare. You can only get an SDCC. And that thing goes for, I think, like 120 bucks. And these little guys right here, you would think are worthless, but each of them is about $50 a pop. Yeah. Right there. Remember when you got those, you're like, oh, this is so expensive. <laughs> we got powder toast man, and we got toasted powder toast man, and they're they're crazy, crazy hard to find. And then over here again, more exclusives that were only at Toys R Us. I bought all. I swept their whole Nickelodeon's collection. If you guys remember at that time, we got Ren right here, which his eyes pop out, and then we got. Bands make her dance. Bands make it. We got butt shaking Stimpy, which literally is a butt that shakes. So we have him as well. And let's go through the prices on these two. These are about $30 each for each of them. Then over here, these mugs are about $20 each. And we have the mystery minis that go with them that are $5 each. But they're so freaking cute. You can't just, oh, oh. How could you just not think that's the cutest thing ever? It's just, it's, it's adorable. What about this one? That is a freaking freak. <laughs> And he's got pubes on his head. But then right over here, we have Norbert and Daggett by their legendary stump, which is only at GameStop. This goes for about 25 bucks, and both of them go for about 20 bucks each as well, I believe. Wait, this itself is $25? Yes, just this. And then these individually are worth like 20 bucks. Oh my God. And then next year we have a crumb candy dish. I have no candy, and I just think he looks really funny like that. So I <laughs> left him there like that. And that's worth about 25. Oh yeah, now we're at the pops. And the Rinna Stimpy chases are going up in value. They're about 30 bucks. 
bucks each, so that's $60. And then the Ren and Stimpy regular pops, they're about $20, $15 each, so $30 for the two. I just like the way they did Stimpy. I think he came out really, really good. I think all the pops did for Nickelodeon, but especially the Ren and Stimpy one, I think they are hard characters to make. So the fact they did so good, that's really awesome. I love them. And then this right here is probably one of my favorite pops of all time. This is Happy, Happy, Joy, Joy, Ren and Stimpy. Absolutely amazing. Only to one, it's one of 2,500. That one's about $150 right now so it's super expensive and then right below that we have blocked Norbert and Daggett which came from FYE and that one's about $40 as well but man they look so freaking clean in there <laughs> And if I'm not mentioning where I bought the product, it probably doesn't have a crazy story. I probably just bought it online. So assume if I didn't say anything about it, I just bought it online. And then over here, we have regular Norbert, 10 bucks. Regular Daggett, about 10 bucks. And then we have an all real monster set, which as a whole is like 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> These are about like seven bucks, seven bucks, seven bucks. And this one's 15. Well, that's, that's it's not twenty dollars. No, it was just it was just, it was a joke. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's 30, that's 30, I think I believe that's thirty six. <laughs> no, it's it's just very cheap though. All right. So now for my favorite two shelves, which is the it's just God, they're just awesome shelves. Right here we have SpongeBob. Right here, I just I had to give his whole shelf because everything on here is expensive. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, very true. Everything here is expensive. So these are like one of my like Grails guys is right here. We'll start on the outside. This whole shelf is Grails to me, but this and this one over here are two of my biggest grails because as you guys know I love cartoons and these are what are called animator mannequins they're not statues like a lot of people think they're just like statues like you'd see like a Deadpool statue or a Venom statue these are actually used to have like a coherent design for Spongebob so they give these to all the artists that work at Nickelodeon so therefore that every single circle is exactly where it needs to be his cheeks look exactly where they need to be their teeth look exactly where they need to be and that way when the artist is drawing them they can use these mannequins as reference so these are scale perfected figures of Spongebob and Patrick, and I guarantee you cannot find anything this detailed of Spongebob out there on the market. It's insane. And those are about anywhere from $100 to $200, depending on the condition, if they're open. It really depends on a lot of things. They can go up to $300 if they're sealed and everything like that, but I would say mine are probably about $150. And that's for that one and that one, so it's $200, $300 in total. Look at that belly button though, man. I could pull lift out this belly button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous how deep that belly button is. And now let's move this back a little carefully bit. Let's get into the pops. I'm sure which a lot of people wanted to see here. This is a complete SpongeBob Funko Pop collection. This is every single pop. All of them are valuable. Mr. Krabs is about a hundred bucks. Patrick is about a hundred and twenty. And these prices are real. Trust me. Yeah. Don't we'll trust the guy who has them all. Trust <laughs> me, who's trying to get them all. <laughs> yes, Parker is in the midst. Parker has these ones already though. These bottom five right here already though. Yeah. So he's working on completing this set as oh, well. Yeah, yeah, and he has that one as well. So he's he's working on. A completed set too. He doesn't have the grails grills though. Yeah, he's working on them though. Yeah. So right here we have like I said, Mr. Krabs about a hundred bucks. Uh, Patrick's about hundred and twenty. SpongeBob's actually the cheapest because the way collecting goes guys if you're new to it is the rarer character, like the more like common characters or like popular characters, they're usually not as valuable long term because more people bought them so there's more in circulation. But the characters that aren't as popular, they are worth more because there's less of them in circulation. So SpongeBob is actually the worth the least because the most people bought him. He's worth about 60 to 70 bucks. Which is a lot for that popular. Is a lot. Yeah, for a popular plastic too. <laughs> and then we got Squidward. At one point, he was going for two hundred and fifty dollars, which is insane. I got. I will tell you how much I paid for all of these as well, and you'll be like, "Oh my god, that was a deal." So he's about now. He's about a two hundred dollar pop. He used to be like two and fifty. Honestly, I'd say maybe like one eighty to be honest. Like uh, I about last there. my check is around there. Yeah, about one eighty. But he he's gone for two fifty. But we're not going off base of that. We're going off what it is. So one eighty. Then Sandy, she's about two hundred bucks easy. She's been the most maintained, the same value. I paid forty dollars. $640. I paid $300 for every single one of these. That, that's that's not a deal at all. You paid $300 and then $300 and then $300 and then $300. No, no. <laughs> for all of them. So $300 for all of them. I literally got them all for half. Well, they were they were worth that much that time. At that time, that was a, a lot of money <laughs> for them. But now they've raised in value so much that I actually made a, a profit on them. So that's sweet. I, I own them and I can sell them and get well, more money than yeah, I paid. Yeah, you made double. Yeah, awesome. So I'm pretty happy about that. But now we're going to the top shelf. And oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that's where we get pricey. I, got, I took a screenshot for reference for you guys for one of the items on here. Cool poster. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so I got the picture ready. So here it is, guys. So this is the Hot Topic exclusive Glow in the Dark SpongeBob. Looks kind of like that. The only difference is it glows in the dark. Then right here next to that, we have the Gold Amazon exclusive. And I'll give you the price of all these after. Then right here, 
we have a signed, signed Funko Pop of Spongebob by Tom Kenny and Steven Hillenberg. And one of you beautiful people out there actually sent that in the fan mail and forever grateful for that. And then with next, the cer certificate of authenticity. Yes, with not just a signature, but with, oh, sorry about that, we'll catch that later. With a certificate of authenticity to prove the signatures. And that is the most important part, which when it comes to the value is that you have that certificate. So I'm very glad that I do. And then next to that, we have my, one of my, my you guys know about this pop. You guys all were part of the journey for this pop. This is the Shellabration SpongeBob pops with there are theories that there are less than 20 of them that even exist. So I have, I have one in 20, literally one in 20. <laughs> so that pop, and I will show you guys the value on that pop. I'll, I'll tell you guys the value right now. But let's just go to this one real quick, back to this one. So this one right here goes for about a hundred bucks. That's pretty expensive. I just have it up here because I want all the SpongeBob. This one right here goes for about 120 for the gold Amazon exclusive SpongeBob. And now these two, these are where the value is really gonna kick in. So this one right here is signed by Tom Kenny and Steven Hillenberg. We don't have a reference as to how much that is worth, but I'm gonna show you some screenshots right now to give you as a general idea. This is one that sold just recently. This item has, just for proof, screenshot of this morning. This was with just, just Steven Hillenberg's signature. It sold for $800. What? For the common pop, just Steven Hillenberg's signature, valued at $800. And oh that was sold God. for a, remember I told you this pop's only worth 60. So that signature alone added $750 basically worth of value, which is insane for one signature. But mine is not just signed by Steven Hillenberg. Mine is additionally signed by Tom Kenny on the same date, which makes it very, very valuable between signature dates because a lot of people have value in what date it was signed. So it wasn't like he signed this one with a green marker and then two years later, he signed it with a blue marker. It was the same day and the same marker color, which is very rare. I don't, like I said, don't have a number to give you, but my guesstimation is somewhere between two to 2,000 to 2,000, 2,500. I would say that. Yeah, so I'm on the low, we'll get the low side, we'll say this one's worth two thousand dollars right at the beginning you know what we should uh you should probably tell them who they are and if you guys don't know who tom kenny and steven hellenberg are they are absolute legends tom kenny is who makes the iconic voice of spongebob squarepants and then right below here we have steven hellenberg who actually invented spongebob who none of this would exist without who none of this would probably exist without he created spongebob and if you guys know he recently passed away and not that i had it before he passed away you know fortunately to you guys but and not that any of this matters whatsoever, but due to him passing away, that also increased the value on that quite a bit. Um, and he didn't do a lot of signing. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Steven Hillenberg's signature is super, like Tom Kenny's, it's kind of common. It's not super, super common, but it's relatively common. Steven Hillenberg's signature was literally almost impossible to get. So that's why I, it's just still, I think I will never probably own anything that is as crazy as that. Like as, as long as I'm a Nickelodeon collector, I don't really know what's gonna top that unless it's like an original concept art or something, that would have to probably top it. Then right here, like I said, we have the celebration. There's one in 20 of them. And that one goes between six and 800. So let's level it out around 700. So $700 for the value on that pop. And we're not done here. I said, this shelf gets crazy. Right here, we have a Leonardo Funko Pop. This is an SDC exclusive one in 1,000 pieces. And it comes in that little tin can, which is really cool. I'm actually gonna take that one out of the box real quick so you guys can see it. So this is one of my favorite pops because the detail is insane. Also, it's not sealed. It doesn't come, well, it comes in a bag, but it, the lunchbox is not sealed. So it doesn't really matter. I can open it. Well, you can see the back. He has a shell. <laughs> I'm not gonna take out the plastic because it's being a little bit difficult, but I just want to show you he has a shell too, which is awesome. And this is the only way you can currently get Plankton as an actual Funko Pop. So that's really cool. That's what I love about that one so much because that's, you know, now I have a Plankton, which is hard to get. And this one goes for about $400. Believe it or not, guys, I know people that are excited. This isn't a collector channel necessarily. A lot of you want to see this, but I think it's hard to believe for some people that a piece of plastic can cost that much, but I promise you guys it does. <laughs> And then the pineapple on top, this thing is about like $40. It's a pretty rare plush. I've actually never seen another one. So it's pretty cool. And then right here, this is also an SDC exclusive kid robot. And this is SpongeBob with the suds. I don't know why they made him smiling though. They shouldn't have made him smile because <laughs> it makes no sense that he's smiling with the suds. Because you can just make the same mold. Yeah, yeah because you get less money. <laughs> pretty yeah. much. That one right there goes for about 40 bucks. The common SpongeBob goes for about 10. And the common Sandy goes for about 12. So add that to the total. So that 
is the SpongeBob shelf right there. This is probably the area where it's the most amount of immense value in one section for sure. And we're going to the next shelf, which is my favorite in another way. All right, guys, so this was filmed on another day. We actually didn't record this part, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add this into the current video you're watching. So here we go. So here's this shelf right here, guys. This is the Rugrat shelf. Let's break everything down on here. To be honest, most of the pops on here are not really worth much. Most valuable thing on this shelf is for sure this right here. This thing is amazing. We have the Reptar Anatomy. It's freaking amazing. It's the full anatomy of Reptar, one of my favorite things I own. And that was sent by FYE personally for your boy, King Reptar. So that was amazing. Always to cherish that. Then we have these pops right here. We have every single Reptar that's ever existed. We have the FYE exclusive Serial Reptar. We got the Glow in the Dark Reptar. We have regular Reptar. The Chase Reptar. And your boy even got a gold damn Reptar. Right there we got the gold Reptar. That was sent by one of you guys. Another thing I will cherish always. Then below that we have more Rugrats. We have Chucky, Tommy. We have the Tommy Chase. We have Spike and also Reptar. And to be honest, if we're going to break down the prices on all of this stuff, the Reptar is about $110 to $120. And then these are like $10 each, basically. And all these are $10. So all this whole thing here is $50. But so this right here is priceless. So we're going to put that at $0. Then down here, all of them are like, this one's like $3, realistically. That's like the cheapest pop I've ever seen, ever. <laughs> it's pretty cheap. So Chucky and Tom are like $3 each. And then the Chase is like $15. Spike we got is like 10 and then we got regular Reptar again, which is supposed to be Angelica Which I don't have here right now, but I do own it and then over here We have the Gert pops and these are a little bit more valuable, but honestly not too much more We have this right here, which is $35 the exclusive glow in the dark We have regular Gert cupcake, which is like 25 We got Gert, which is like 25 and then robot Gert, which I believe is like 35 40 and ironically enough This little keychain is worth $40. There's <laughs> more more than these three pops this oh little keychain Which is great and then we got this ugly dude right here <laughs> we got ugly Tommy with this this five o'clock shadow on his head <laughs> so that right there those are like six bucks each we have this one right here it's also a pop this is the Zim and Gur ride and that one will run you about 25 bucks as well I feel like, I like a TV show oh that will run you about 25 bucks <laughs> <laughs> then we have right here which I like this one a lot because we have this one over here which has these black maggots coming out of his head <laughs> I really don't like when they try and make Tommy have hair. This thing's about 20 bucks, but this one I respect because at least they just made him bald. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to touch this nasty, nasty stuff. So right here we have Tommy. These ones are actually pretty rare. They're also Toys R exclusive. They're about $25 each. We have Tommy, Chucky, and Angelica, which goes perfectly with the Reptar if you ask me. And that is actually that shelf besides these things up here. We have the fan mail little robot ro Reptar right there, which is awesome. Chucky mug, uh, Tommy mug, and Reptar mug. And those are about $15 each. And then this right here is $25. That is the Reptar Funko uh, Hot Topic exclusive mystery mini. These are disturbing. They are all very disturbing. I just have them mounted, their heads mounted on. Oh, no, just look at it. That's disturbing. That's just wrong. <laughs> no one should have this much lip. <laughs> All right, and then on the top shelf, we have a Nickelodeon bowling pin. This thing is insane. I don't know how much that's valued at. I'm gonna say like $50, $60. I really have no clue. I'd, yeah, I mean, that's that's a safe. I mean, there's the Nickelodeon blimps go for like thousands. Yeah, I don't really know. That's I'm gonna say $60 now. I don't know the value on that. I've never really seen another one. Then right here, we have a Reptar Eki, which is actually, these are kind of like Funko Pop, but they're called Ikis, and they're kind of made like to be like kind of like a Hawaiian tiki inspiration type design. We have Reptar, we got Tom, he still looks ugly in any form. And then we got Chucky over here, which still looks cute in any form. And he's holding a little Reptar. That is such good detail. He's holding a mini Reptar. And those go for about $15 each, except for the Reptar one that's about $30. So $15, so $60 in Ikis right there. And then up here, this is another very, very rare game, guys. This is called Rin and Stimpy Log Serial Game. This is actually a game where it's an actual board game, a serious board game with this kid and this kid. <laughs> And they don't know what the, what the creator of that show would, would, you know, would, would think about this. If you get it, you get it. And this thing right here, I have never seen one in person that is sealed besides that one. I've seen many of them online before. I found that one in a random little like shop around our area. And I got that one for $30. I'm estimating it's worth $120 because the regular game is worth like $30, $40. But that one is sealed and I've never seen anyone. I'm pretty sure it can sell for that much. And then we got the other sneaks. We got the Jordan Reptar right here. 
here. <laughs> Jordan 5s, Reptar Edition. Right here, these are Hot Topic exclusive. These are Reptar shoes. You guys have never seen me wear them because I do not want to ruin them. But they are badass and I have a second pair I'm gonna start wearing eventually. I just I still don't wanna ruin them. And those aren't really that expensive. So like I said, those ones are actually less expensive because they're still making them. These ones they stopped making, so that's why they're priced at the way they are. These ones are about $50 that they sell for retail because you can still buy it in the day if you wanted to on hottopic.com. Not a sponsor, but if you want to be, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> then behind that, we have Reptar Cereal and then the OG Reptar Crunch. The Reptar Cereal is about like $10. You can go buy it at FYE right now and not a sponsor, but can be again. Then right here, we have Reptar Crunch and this thing goes for about $75 to $100. And again, I have not seen another one that is sealed. I have seen boxes for them. I cannot find another one online that is also sealed. A long time ago, there used to be one on there over like $60, $70, but that's the only one currently that I know of that's lit sealed like that. So I'm gonna say about 100 bucks. And then we have replicas of all, not replicas, they're, they're real, they're out of box, I guess. <laughs> out of box, reptars again. They're all the reptars I showed you guys before, because you know your boys had had double of every reptar. So we have all of them. And then you guys sent a lot of these ones. I have actually in the garage, maybe about 20 of these reptars. So, and that's all ones that have just accumulated. So there's a lot of reptars there, but that doesn't count for the shelf. So this one right here is about 10 bucks, about 15. Um, I believe, like I said, about 15, 20. And then this one's about 25. And then this right here again was sent in the fan mail, this little Rugrats alarm clock. And it doesn't really fit here, but I put anything you guys send in fan mail somewhere because it's just so cool that anybody wants to send anything. This is priceless because a fan sent it. These Pez's are about $2 each. I just think they look sick there. And then this, this is art. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a replica of the bold and brash painting from Spongebob by a legend, Sam Edwards Jr. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this guy has no relation to this at all. This was just a funny story that I, I think that they would know, right? Well, yeah, well, we did a video a long time ago at ADHD the World, which is the upside down vision video, like two years ago by now. And that guy, like, was a park ranger that was trying to trying to bother us and gave us a card. And I just thought that was a legend. I just put it there forever. <laughs> so it's still there. And then back there, you guys have seen these before. It used to be in the old intros for ADHD's world. These are the Reptar plushies, and those are about worth $75 each. You actually have more of those, right? I have two more of those, yes. I got one of them sent by Nickelodeon, the other two were sent by you guys, and then one that I bought myself. So there is a lot of Reptars. Well, all right, that's the collection, man. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. I mean, there's some small stuff that's like, you know, like I said, I have more stuff than like, I have the Reptar backpack, we got some Reptar cereal, we got this little notebook. We got a, oh, we got a rep this. 75 bucks, this is Reptar skateboard. This is gonna be going over there eventually where this light is currently. There's that hat. Yeah, there's this hat, this is homemade, priceless. There's a sign over, there's a poster over here. And that, that this, this is not gonna be added to the price. It's got that, and then look at this poster. This is a sick poster. This is every single SpongeBob character ever made on one poster. You know, I tried to look for characters that they forgot, but I, I know. I honestly, let's just give it, let's, let's leave it to them, a challenge. Uh, yeah, okay, challenge down below, guys. Name a character from SpongeBob or Rev, you know, talk about a character that you don't see on this. I mean, even this guy that's the, that he was trying to stand up to that took his ice cream is on here. I mean, everybody's on here. This is an amazing poster, and I'd have this custom made. This was $50. I'm gonna count that to the shelf uh, total, though, that's right next to it. So, guys, I want you guys to go through this poster and try and find any character that is missing. I really, I mean, I don't know about any that are missing. I, I see every background character, everything. I don't, I mean, there might be one or two, but I don't see them. All right, guys, so that is actually, I don't know who won between me or Parker, because I'll, I'll have to go through the footage and figure it out and figure out what the total is, but if I won, King Raptor! <laughs> yes, I won! I think, maybe, I might have won. Anyway, if uh, I won, cool. <laughs> that was a very, very ethical magic. But I can do more. I just don't want to outdo you, you know. All right, okay. no one can. That is actually it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. A lot of you guys have been asking for this for so long, so I hope you guys enjoyed. It, like I said, link down below to the new channel. Again, guys, there's gonna be toy unboxing challenges over there, but it's gonna be all toy related, and it's gonna be stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, go check it out down below. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.